It's all eyes on Georgia once again as the backlash continues over the state's new elections law. Republicans and Democrats at odds over the meaning of the bill, sharing some fiery statements over the weekend. Well, we've got team coverage tonight on this story. Our Emily Gangyoung following the fallout from the Major League Baseball pulling the All-Star game out of Cobb County. But first, we begin with Haley Mason. And Haley, things so tense right now. Some lawmakers, they want Coke products taken out of their offices even. A handful of GOP lawmakers said they are disappointed in Coca-Cola for coming out publicly and speaking against the new election law. They say they asked for all Coke products to come out of their suite, and this morning they brought in Pepsi. Lawsuits are mounting against the state as more groups protest the new Election Integrity Act, also known as SB202. Today, the group Asian Americans Advancing Justice Atlanta filed the fourth federal lawsuit against the state over the new voting law. They say it limits access to absentee ballot drop boxes for Asian American voters. As companies begin to speak out against the law that tightens voting requirements, eight state GOP lawmakers say they're no longer supporting Coca-Cola inside their office suite because the company admonished the law. We put out some good legislation and good policy to protect all Georgians and the sacred right to vote. And with Coke not being on the team with us and, and telling us what we did was unacceptable, we just decided that we did not need Coke products in our office. The House GOP suite mate sent this internal letter informing state leadership they would be removing all Coca-Cola products from their office, stating, quote, unfortunately, upon the passage of the Election Integrity Act of 2021, your company has made the conscious decision to perpetuate a national dialogue which seeks to intentionally mislead the citizens of Georgia and deepen a divide in our great state. Given Georgia's choice to cave to the pressure of an out-of-control cancel culture, we respectfully request all Coca-Cola products Products be removed from our office suite immediately. The group tells me they never intended for the letter to be made public. This wasn't supposed to, to get out on, on social media. This is just something internal that we were doing. What do you say to that, that you are participating in cancel culture by removing them from your suite? I'm not posting out here on Facebook get, trying to get everybody to boycott Coke. It's just something personally that we felt uh, in our office and as, as a personal opinion that, that we don't agree with what they're saying. So if that's why they're going to those, then we won't we won't use their product. And Mayor Bottom speaking to CBS this morning about the Major League Baseball pulling the All Star Game out of Atlanta, saying it not only hurts uh, businesses, it hurts small businesses and everyday people. This conversation continuing from the State House to the streets here. Just in the last 20 minutes, Fair Fight Action and the NAACP just wrapped up a press conference clarifying what they call dishonesty about SB202 supporters. Reporting live outside the state capitol, Haley Mason, CBS 46 News. Haley, thank you. And it's George